Australian dollar fell under 78 cents this week to lows since mid-July. But much of the move was simply due to a stronger US dollar. Tuesday's RBA board meeting had little impact on markets. The RBA kept the cash rate steady at 1.5% as fully expected and retained its optimistic outlook on growth, particularly encouraged by non-mining investment and employment. But Governor Lowe did sound another note of warning about consumer spending being restrained by slow wages growth and high household debt. This warning on consumer spending was borne out rather dramatically in August's retail sales numbers. Turnover fell 0.6% in the month, much weaker than expected, and July was revised down from 0 to minus 0.2%. Dismal reading overshadowed a fairly encouraging rise in Australia's trade balance released at the same time. The Aussie dollar reacted negatively to the retail sales report and pricing for an RBA rate hike moved out from August 2018 to November 2018. With Chinese markets closed all this week, commodity prices weren't a major factor for the Aussie dollar. Instead, the Aussie's fall below 78 cents was largely driven by a stronger US dollar. The greenback found support from higher US yields as a number of Fed officials hit the wires. They remained optimistic on the outlook for the US economy and indicated that they're still leaning towards a December rate hike. They also got some support from a very strong reading on the non-manufacturing sector for September. The key index hit a high since 2005. Market pricing for the Fed to raise the funds rate in December has risen to above 70%. The US dollar also gained against European currencies on increased political concerns. The euro fell and Spanish bonds and stocks were both hit very hard after Sunday's Catalan independence referendum. The British pound was even weaker, down more than 2% over the past week as divisions deepened over Brexit policy and British Prime Minister May's speech to the annual Tory convention was poorly received. In the week ahead, there'll be a focus on the reopening of Chinese and South Korean markets after their lengthy holidays. And in the US, the data focuses on retail sales and CPI. We should also finally find out which parties will lead New Zealand's next government. Australia's calendar is reasonably quiet in the week ahead, though on Tuesday we see a survey of business confidence and on Wednesday it's Westpac's October Consumer Sentiment Survey. If the US dollar remains broadly supported as we expect, then the Aussie dollar is likely to spend most of its time trading in the lower half of a 77 to 79 cent range. We'll speak to you next week.